Yo, we're at trackside. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Mike Bishop, TPR Productions, and uh, right here we got Sirens Over Samaria. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm just gonna sit like this. <laughs> right, so tonight they're playing a show here, this little place, Trackside Teen Center in Wilton. And um, how long have you guys been together? Oh man. Oh, that's a complicated question. Take it away, man. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Camille and I were neighbors at one point a couple of years ago, and uh, actually like 10 years ago. Uh, we started playing music together. We already had like old members, other members. Uh, you know, kept going through singers and drummers, and we just couldn't find anyone who would uh, meet our like our uh, standards, ta our tastes, like in the music, in the direction we wanted to go to. But, uh, uh, I moved to another city, um, stayed in touch with him, and then I met Jesse and uh, Brad, our singer and bassist, and uh, Luke is his brother. So uh, he joined basically. So this this band right now, we've only been together for a year. Yeah. So yeah. So speaking of those musical tastes, what are like your main influences? Oh, well, maybe our yeah. August Burns Red. It's, it's got to be a big one, and then I want to say like maybe the lighter side of periphery. Were you wearing a periphery? Per I was wearing a periphery. Was it a ketchup shirt? Yeah, team yeah, ketchup. Yeah, man, I love team that ketchup. shirt. <laughs> and, uh, saw them live at Summer Slaughter. I saw that shirt. Uh, so I was like, I made a connection. <laughs> yep, they're sick. Uh, anything really technical, aggressive, and you know. It's like Miss May I with a little touch of ABR with like the technical yeah. breakdowns. Um, and then we also like adding the whole techno. Those little yeah, yeah. 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 So where are you guys based out of again? Like you're all from different areas. Uh, Bristol and New Britain. Yeah, mainly. Bristol, Connecticut. Have you guys come out with any material yet? We have an EP, but it's technically not copywritten yet, so we're getting that procedure done. Dude, then, I, don't, I don't think we've had anyone on the show who's had any, had any copyright shit, so... Right. <laughs> well, I mean, hey, we're putting if it you out. you had an EP, yeah. dude, that, that's big. Yeah. It's big for us. <laughs> and, like, you know, we're putting it out on iTunes and Bandcamp as soon as it comes out. And oh, we yeah. just want to, you know, eliminate any future problems. Yeah, yeah, they were, yeah, they were actually going to go in, you know, do the whole album work and all that kind of stuff. We're still ordering that. Um, we have two songs out, actually. <laughs> yeah, they're on YouTube right now, so yeah. you can listen to it, yeah. Hypocrites and Heretics, and Don't Worry Guys, I played the song on Medium. Do you know the date of the EP that you're actually going to release it? Not yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, we're still... Oh, soon, though. Hopefully. Still Hopefully. picking and choosing who our lawyer's going to yeah. be. So. Yeah, not that we're good enough to where people want to steal our music, but, but you, you, know, you don't want someone to in the worst case scenario. Yeah. It's good that you guys are safe about that. A lot of guys just throw shit out there. Yeah. Hopefully by the end of this year, maybe. Yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's a little far. I mean, uh, yeah. We're Let's say before the new year. We're shooting yeah. for October. Yeah. October? That's fair, that's true. Right. Yeah, all the good stuff's going on in the fall. I mean, we would love to support you guys, so if you just send us a release date one day, yeah, we'll put it up, we'll let people know, we'll advertise that a bit. Probably put on some more shows for you when it's coming awesome. out. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But yeah. we got any other shot? Uh, well, actually, uh, speaking of shows, what was the, you, got, how, uh, you guys have been playing for a year. What was your favorite show for each of you? Favorite? I mean, they get, like, Every yeah, place is different. I mean, the most challenging show I would say would be the first one we ever had at uh, uh, Sandbar and Lingle. Mainly because mm -hmm. we basically do it was a 45 minute set. We we're headlining. Yeah. He was involved with my dad <coughs> three days prior. 
I think. And I think he only knew two of the songs. Of yeah. yeah, one or two of the songs. And we had because, well, like eight. Pulling, we just kept writing and writing. And yeah. It was awful. Awful. So basically, two days before the show, it was just nonstop hammering the songs into our brains. And then, you know, we get there and. And yeah, I mean, we, had, we did it all. I mean, we messed up a few times, but I mean. Well, that's what's been here. I mean, we've played the Webster, I mean, a lot of times. Yeah. It's just, you know, depends on the crowd. I mean, I would definitely, yeah, I would definitely say the first, our first time we played the Webster, which is probably, honestly, it was like September of last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a battle of the bands, and a lot of people actually showed up. Like, it was all local bands, but surprisingly, a lot of people showed up. People and uh, local bands. You'd be surprised. I mean, that would... You, you, you're all local shows. Yeah. This chick here who now is part of the interview. Oh, um, yeah. If you want to get a lot of good um, like fan bases and stuff like that, or you really want to um, just keep it real. <laughs> keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> keep it real. <laughs> all right, man. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> good. City, um, Jersey City, all of kind of ghettos to watch out. Um, North Berlin, oh, oh, look at Eli's hair. All that shit. Oh, wow. Everyone just loves walking in, man. It's good Jesse's here. I think we should have put like that thing actually across. You wanna put that, that thing across the door so people know not to walk in? Sorry. Uh, there we go. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, yeah, I would say I would say that would probably be the best show because you know people actually got into it, you know. When there was a breakdown they modged, you know, like they all came up to the they all came up to the front and we we haven't had like two shows since then that were like that. Where like we play, the other bands leave, and uh, oh yeah, advanced practice. That's what we call those yeah. shows. <laughs> it's like the bands come and then they play their set and then they leave and then if we're on after them, like oh, nobody got to experience us. But yep, yep. <laughs> Drive an hour and play for another band. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's how it works. How about you? Get, how about you? Favorite shows? Favorite shows? I really like playing at the last room gig when we were at. <laughs> oh yeah! Um, with the fur free shirt because like the the crowd was pretty much excited and it was the first show where I felt like we were the most present on the stage. Like we really You were talking to the crowd. That's well, yeah. that's a good thing. I mean like there, that moment when you can talk to the crowd, that, that feels special. Not when you're telling the crowd, hey guys, we don't suck. <laughs> and when it's more than we've had that point too many times. And when it's more than you little fuckers, I want to see a circle pit, like you know, yeah, you dude. talk to them. No, 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 I, I feel like we're gonna get some snacks. Dude, <laughs> <laughs> that, that room <laughs> show was good. That room show was good. Were you at work? I was at work. Yeah, you were the one who walked yeah, off. Oh, 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 okay. no, <laughs> <laughs> she just walked up to Jesse. Jesse was like, oh, yeah, the yeah. Oh, like, oh. yeah, we're always trying to meet new bands and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just trying yeah. to get them on the show and everything. Favorite show? The room, man. Yeah. Just for the fact that we get our own rooms. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah that was fun. Yeah, the dressing room. Just feel all that ass. And then you, have drums, like, I mean, you have everything set up on the side. So then everything's just like quick when you get on the stage. And then, like, it's like a medium-sized venue, so then like I just feel like more people gonna watch it. Even though it's like far. All right. It's still generic, but yeah. it's the same show. Like that was our the Psychostick show was actually I feel that was our best show. I am honored to know that I went to like <laughs> the majority of your guys' like favorite shows. <laughs> <laughs> Here, who's filming? Like, show your face. Yeah, yeah, breaking the fourth wall a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, so Mike runs the main live show. I run live on the live, and live on the live, we like to get we like to get the experience of the bands. We get we want to get an interview with them and talk with them while catching the performance, not just their normal music, but their experience of them playing live. So. Whenever I interview a band on Live on the Live, I want to know what are some upcoming dates of any other shows that you guys might have? Two weeks from now, right? No, no it's next Saturday. week. Next Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Whoa. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, right. 14th. Yeah, 14th. Uh, All right, the, the 14th. 14th. On, yeah. on, uh, the the 14th. The Webster next Underground Saturday. on the 14th. It's a Saturday. Doors are at 6. I think, I'm pretty sure tickets are 10. 
Well, that's well, well so. oh, all right. Yeah, that's a little expensive, but we have to sell them. Yeah. <laughs> tickets are tickets. Yeah, it's a battle band, and then um, the winner the winner goes to finals, and then from the finals you go uh, play main stage with Danzig in October. Yeah, we yeah. definitely want to put that main stage. Not, not that like Danzig is our scene, scene but <laughs> shows are shows. Yeah, right? shows are shows. <laughs> it's main stage. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Um, that, that's about it. I mean, well, it was awesome talking to you guys, and um, can't wait to see you guys up. They're up next. Uh, they're opening for the show, and check these guys out. Sirens over Samaria. Saw them wearing a ketchup shirt at the room playing Oh <laughs> the Psycho Stick. Fucking awesome. It was it was cool. It was a great show. All right. I'm Eli Steindorf. This is the, this is live on the live, not the live. I can't know it's the live. This is live on the live, and uh, you're about to see Sirens over Samaria play. <laughs>